Hey, how's it going everyone? Gribnum here back again with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And guys, today I'm going to show off something I just found out in the game. I don't know why it took me so long, but I just recently discovered that the protection set, which has been in the game for like two years now, has something pretty cool on it on a nine piece as a nine piece bonus here. I never noticed this for whatever reason, but at the bottom here on a nine piece, it says that your allies will deal 5% more damage per buff placed by the champion that has the protection. So here, as you can see, I have it on my sippy, a nine piece set. I'm gonna tell you how I got that uh, very briefly in a sec, but just just take a look here. 75% chance to place a protected buff. And you know what, sippy is placing three buffs right out the gate on her a2 one of the best reviving champions in the game she's very fast and she's very defensive she can protect the team and all that stuff so you got the block debuffs the increased defense and the increased speed she's a great candidate for the nine piece protection as you see that i have on now i want to say let you guys know i had the six piece up here and then i actually had the like seven and maybe the eight. I forget if I just recently put one of these on here. I might have just recently put this ring. But what I very recently just did was swap out the amulet. So I actually was rocking this amulet. And you can see here, I actually had a little more resistance with this amulet here. But I felt like the, the benefit of a nine piece really outweighed the... Uh, you know not having that not having that benefit there so i went ahead and i threw this on so here we have a defense based amulet uh would have been nice if it were similar to what i had here would have been nice if i got one more roll into the resistance but it is what it is but nonetheless i have a nine piece set I just want to point out she is a very good champion for the protection set i know a lot of people might have her in speed sets uh, you know, thinking that she just needs speed sets to do whatever she wants to do, maybe some resistance, but you're going to find all of that in protection anyway. You get resistance, HP, speed, protected buffs, and then of course here at the end, allies deal 5% more damage per buff place. And so I wanted to show off the kind of the difference between having and not having somebody on the team that can help you with that. So... Here, I would actually be using, uh, and let me show off this uh, stats real quick. So, 367 on the speed, over 100,000 HP. It all could be better. I know people have like six star Siffies. They have plus two, plus three Siffies and whatnot. And maybe I can get a better uh, piece for protection. She definitely needs to be way faster. I understand that. And the resistance is quite low. It's okay though. But I'm going to be testing out fatalis and i know i use fatalis a lot so if you don't really like fatalis then maybe this isn't you know the channel for you but he's one of my favorites and because she's not placing any uh increased attack she's placing increased defense so i could test the defense champion but hp champions and defense champions would be best to test with her but uh, i could still test a wukong so what i'm going to do here First, uh, just show off the stats on Fatalis. Not crit capped. Still working on that. But regardless, a great build. He destroys everybody. He destroys uh, a lot of people as the fight progresses. He's very solid. Very good champion. Uh, we have Wukong here in a lethal set. Uh, decently fast. Could be better on the attack. Uh, again, I, I build all these champions without the optimizer. I do not use optimizer. I am not, uh, you know, I don't promote that. If you want to know how to build a champion, then just do it yourself. That's how I see it. We have Marius here. Uh, I need to work on Marius's uh, gloves here. I need to fix his gloves on the Ascension. But as you can see, uh, stats are decent on Marius. Need need that uh, increased crit damage there, of course. So working on that. So I might test out marius i might test out wukong um who else is a is a 
defense base. I might even test out Razavark, but I'm going to do that. And maybe if we have some time, I'll jump into the live arena with some of these guys. But let's go ahead and come over here to Doom Tower. I'm really low on energy. These fucking events lately are taking all the energy in the game to do right you have to you have um we just got done with the spider event now we're doing the odin event right after i don't know oh what's going to be a good stage to do so let's go to stage one and very quick and easy to to test all i got to do is just throw fatalis in here and just keep res resetting and kind of remembering these these stats right or these uh the damage numbers I've already been doing this a little bit. Let's say I hit Bulwark here. 30k, right? See what I do again. 42. So let's just do a little a couple tests here. Alright, so 27. Do another. We got a 40. So so low lowest was like 27. Highest so far was a 40. I guess that's when I ignore defense. Let's see if I can get anything above 45. Okay, so 45 is is the highest I've seen so far on Bulwark. Now, this is different. I think Eleanor has a lot more defense or something because when I hit her, it's like a sponge. 47. All right, we're getting up there. Let's see if I can top out at 50K. Nope, not quite. 50K, trying to hit 50K on the a1 26 so as low as 26 right wonder what it is that really causes that low of a number to probably 40 43 so we had 47 now if i can see another 47 i will i will call it and then i'll throw in siffy here okay so we're just trying to see 40k again if i can get anything over 47 so 44 so as you can see at least we can say that the highest higher numbers are within this 40,000 to 47,000 range right 43 more so averaging around that 43 all right let's test it one more time one more time and i'm gonna throw sippy in there okay but this, I was saying, is a great way to boost that damage a little further on the champions that you already are loving, right? Let's say you 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 love using HP-based champions, and you have a Siffy in 8-piece, 7-piece, 6-piece gear. Put her in that 9-piece, and then your champion's going to be doing up to 15% more damage, right? Because that's going to be 3 buffs on that champion. All right, so we saw lowest was 26,000, highest was 47,000, and then we couldn't even break that 47,000 uh, again after I saw it once. So there's a chance that once we add that extra 15% um, damage, that we'll be averaging 45 to maybe 50K, right? Because the 15% the damage, because it's 5% per buff, uh it sounds great but i think it's not as much as as you'd expect from at least the testing that i was doing earlier let me see here so we're gonna hit bulwark again i feel like we had a good good view on those numbers and check that out all three buffs are protected now that doesn't have anything to do with getting that bonus damage some of these buffs could be not protected at all and i'd still get it go ahead and hit bulwark here 31 okay not really what not not the best but i i would argue that that 31 would have been like a 26 or 27 otherwise 49 49 damage damage wise you know it's not pushing any any spectacular numbers 54 okay that was pretty solid so an extra 10,000 h uh damage there on top of kind of what we were doing before right so i guess that's that uh that that 10 to 15 percent damage increase right keep trying this let's keep seeing if we can break 54 now 49 okay we weren't seeing the 49 last time we weren't seeing that number consecutively 
54 again. Now that 54833, that might be the cap. That might be the highest I can reach here. But it's really nice to see that there are little things, 48, little things in the game that you can do to squeeze out a little more damage on some champions just when you thought you'd had it all. Okay, lowest 29 so far. Lowest was 29. Gonna do a few more tests on Fatalis, 46. Then we're gonna jump and try someone else, actually. Uh, let's do that now. I didn't mean to do that, but let's go ahead and do that now. So, let's see. So, uh, let's just do Wukong by himself. Do a couple of A1s, right? Just hit full work. 38. 38. Good numbers. So, Wukong being an attack based champion. Plus, okay, 23. Lowest, he might have a, a lower. Wukong might have a lower floor damage, but a higher ceiling of damage. Higher cap. 38, or sorry, 37 uh, there. 38 again. Can we break 38? Can we break that? 26 again. Okay. But let me know if you guys are able to to kind of make this uh make this push with maybe a support champion you have. You know? Let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to test with with this kind of uh extra damage right now. I wouldn't say, you know, put her on your clan boss team, put her on your hydra team. It's that's not really what that's all for. But in arena where you can't squeeze out 25. But you can't actually do an arena great hall type type bonus, right? This will just help you a little more to uh, what you want to do. So, okay, I think 38 was the highest we saw. I was really thinking we were going to break like 50k, actually. I mean, it all depends on the champion, too, that I'm hitting. The so bulwark, I guess, you know, built pretty well for this stage. This is just stage one. 30 uh 34 do uh 35 i think the most i hit was 38 and it didn't look like it, it looked like i couldn't go any further <laughs> okay go ahead and do this throw her in there and it's great because she's faster than everybody so she will go first see what i can pump out now 39 straight out the bat just right out the gate Already pushing past the limit that I had last time. Very nice to see. Okay. Go ahead again. 42. That's awesome. Now the numbers again. Very subtle. Very subtle bonus there. Uh, but for a champion that is going to definitely be on your team in most most battles. This is a great. I, I'd say a great uh, bonus to have. 45. Awesome. Go ahead and do one more champion here. In fact, I'm going to do uh, use a defense champion. And I don't think I want to just use Marius because he's got the AoE. And it's going to be really hard to um, verify that. But if, if I have to, I will. Um, Why not? Let's just do it. Let's just do Marius. Right? So he's got the 35%. Just do it. See how it is. 11 13 22 11 13 20, something like that let's, let's try again 14 13 17 i saw 30 i saw let's pay attention to one target at a time actually so i'm going to take a look at just the bulwark okay eleven thousand. i know i saw higher numbers on the metal scraper guy that was like eleven thousand on bulwark there just pay attention there Eighteen thousand that time I wonder if that's going to be the the limit, the highest number. 16. But it, let's see if we can break 20k. 11 again. <clears throat> 16 again. Trying to break that 18. 15. Yeah, so I'm going pretty quick. I actually want to jump into live arena here in a sec. I could probably... Uh, and, but I actually might cut this video. I don't think I'm going to add a live arena into this. Um, sorry for mentioning that, if anything. But there's 17, basically 18 there. 
let's go ahead and toss Siffy into the mix. Um, you know, yeah, I'm probably just going to not do Live Arena. Just keep this a short video centered just around the the uh, the protection set and, and its bonus there. Because I really didn't know this. I honestly was uh, just reading the sets randomly and I just happened to just pay attention to that for whatever reason. All right, let's try this. 33,000. Wow. Well, there's also the the defense. Um, yeah, so there's also the, the increased defense. Let me see if I can do an increased defense without Siffy and see if I can get close to that, that uh, 33,000. So 22. Let me do a few runs with this, right? So she's bringing that increased defense, but she's also bringing the uh, 21. Was that 33,000 though? That was a pretty big number. 20. Damn. So <laughs> it's crazy. You hit that big number once and then you don't get it again. Uh, let me know if you guys, if this helps anybody. Let me know if this helped you decide to put a uh, protection set on your champion, whether it is a six piece or a nine. Let me know if this really helped you. I've been enjoying the comments lately on the videos and I've just been enjoying kind of coming up with new ideas. Uh, also, leave a like if you enjoyed the video too. All right, let's do this one more time. 31. Okay, so the highest 33, right? Let me see if I can get an increased defense again. Who would bring that? Let's go ahead and filter buffs. Where is it? Don't know if my Nithrala would. Okay, so I ended up going with uh, Mother Cybel here because she's going to be faster than my Marcus here. And place the increase uh defense here just want to see the the difference so eighteen thousand with the increased defense but no no nine piece protection on cyber i just want to see the difference uh between at least having that defense but also not having that 15 percent bonus damage remember we saw highest of 31 to 34 with Siffy on the team, there's 28. And this is getting pretty close. This is getting pretty close to that, but I actually don't think I'm going to reach uh, a 30, uh, 31 with just Mother Cybel on the team. Now, honestly, even Mother Cybel here could be a great nine piece protection uh, champion, right? Because she is, she's got all this going on, right? She's got. A bunch of buffs here but they're not i don't think being placed boom all at the same time there's some, just a crazy something crazy going on here um but at least she has the double the double uh buffs on her a2 and she's very fast so that's that's gonna be very important to knowing who you want to put the protection set on is if that champion is just really fast um like with their base speed so eighteen thousand. Let me do it again. 18,000 again. And one more time. Can I break 18,000 again? 25. Okay. 25. I think I saw 28 there at one point. Let's go back to Siffy. And just, just see the numbers one more time. I think we were consistently in the 20s. 30,000 straight out the gate. Boom. That was awesome. Sorry, I'm going pretty quick, guys. 30,000 right out the gate. Watch this one be lower. Yeah, 22. I don't know why it keeps doing that. It gives you a really high number right out the bat and then takes it away. 33. Okay, so as you can see, guys, that's just kind of the the bulk of the testing that I really wanted to do here for the, uh, the video. Let me just see if there's anyone else that I might try. Okay, actually, Razavarg. Let's do Razavarg. Um, I'm afraid he may kill the uh, anybody. He's probably just going to kill whoever he hits because um, he's really strong. So it's A1. Okay, no, no, he didn't kill. 
Okay, so we had, I, I saw about a, a 14,000, between 11 to 14,000 there. Let's try that again. So this will be the last champion I test here. 11, again, a 14,000 on the uh, on the max. Now the thing is, just like Arius being a defense champion, getting buffed by the increased defense, Razavarg is a speed-based champion as well as attack. As you can see here, his, his, his abilities are based on attack first, priority of course, but also they're scaling on his speed. So when Siffy places that increased speed, he's also getting a buff. He's one of the few champions in the game that can buff himself with a speed speed uh speed buff right so that's very interesting for him to do that i think there's like one or two others that do this sort of thing in fact take a look at this ability because we're going to test this because he can buff himself with damage so he buffs his own damage in more than one way because he's giving himself the increased speed but he's also using his passive to increase his speed permanently so he just is getting stronger and stronger 42,000. So we had between 11 to 14k on the A1, but on the A3, let's see what we can get consistently. Okay, so we're in the 40 range, right? In that 40 range. 56 on the highest. Just remember that, guys. 56 is the highest. Let's see what else I can get here. 39. Let me show you the Razzle Varg build real fast. Sorry, I didn't show that. Um, we're at a 336 speed, kind of low on the crit damage. Would like to get it a little higher, a little low on the attack. If I could round that up to uh, to 7500, right, that'd be awesome. But all in all, this is a fantastic build for a uh, speed champion who is who is doing a lot of damage. So there's the build on Razzle Varg. Um, as you saw there, let me just test this one more time with just him. So the A1, what are we doing again? Highest is about 14,000 there, right, on the A1. On the A3, highest looks to be like the 57, just under 60K after all the testing. But let's go ahead and throw Siffy in the mix and see what kind of numbers we can pump out. Now, I want to take a small guess and say 18, 18,000 consistently on the A1, right? 16 to 17. Okay, very nice. Not bad, not bad. 16 to 17, but this is fantastic because he's getting that buff from the increased speed and a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know that because all of his abilities are attack based and speed based, right? Let's do this again. 21 24 that was rounded up to a 25 there wow that that amount of uh damage increase is is amazing for razabar here let's do this one more time so pretty much a 25,000 on the highest that i saw let's go ahead and run the uh the a3 and then i'll call this video uh done and over with all right and again, we're looking at the bulwark, guys. We're looking at the bulwark. So that time was a 44,000 on the A3. That was lower than I than the uh the max I did before. I think the max was like 57. 45, 45, 45. So I'm not getting any much more of a of a buff because of the uh speed speed buff on me isn't is already there. But let's see if that 15% Okay, 48, uh, 58,000. So let's just see how much that 15% of, of uh, damage is doing. And I'm also worried that though she's placing three, uh, the speed buff on me, I feel like I'm erasing it and putting my own in place of hers, and I'm losing at least 5% damage. I think if it's not protected, then I put my own speed buff on him, and I lose uh, a 5% bonus damage. And instead I have 10%. That's what I think is happening. 48. Can I can I get to 60? That would be the, the goal here. If I can get to 60. 
right? Let me test this a few more times. Sixty-two thousand. All right, so that's really going to do it, guys. That's the bulk of the testing that I really can think of doing. I didn't want this video to be too long. So honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know what you guys decide to do. Um, if you're going to start building more champions in protection gear or not, that'd be awesome. Just leave a comment below, like the video, subscribe, and let me know. Anyway, thanks, guys. Bye.